All right, could we call it annual? The annual closet clear out? Could we? He says we could. I'm gonna make this short and sweet in my terms. So it's gonna be like 10 minutes. I need to do a closet clear out. I did a makeup clear out on this channel and I tried to be as ruthless as I could and I got rid of so much makeup. So I feel like it's only right that we now do it for the clothing. Now I've done a few closet clear outs in the past and I always donate or sell the items and then donate the money that we make. So I that's kind of the way I convince myself that it's okay. And at this point, I don't buy a lot of brand new items. I'm more into the thrifting. That's another way that I justify my shopping. <laughs> if you've never seen my closet, I have three quadrants. Quadrant A, quadrant B, and quadrant C. And here's my goal for this video. It's an unrealistic goal. I want one of these empty. I've been seeing these Pinterest things where they hollow out a closet and put a desk in it. I really want to do that. And I don't feel like I should need three different quadrants. I Two should be suffice. Okay, so we're gonna organize everything into three groups. It's gonna be the keeps, the donates, and the possible sell and then donate the money to charity. Because basically I want to leave room for the opportunity that if you guys are excited to buy anything, because I know I'll be getting rid of quite a few cute pieces. If you guys are excited to buy anything and then we can just give that money to charity, I feel like that all is good and positive. I actually should make another group of needs to be revamped because I love doing that. And maybe a group of needs to be in storage. Hmm. Oh gosh, okay, so I have my shoe section. Jackets, jeans, pants, dresses that I don't really wear. These are like my cute tops for filming. This is realistically what I wear every day. Sweaters, underwear, socks. These are short dresses, overfill, and then sweaters and shirts. You know it's gone too far when you organize it and it still looks messy. Like this is what it looks like at any given moment. And I feel like I sort of justified my shopping because I was like, oh, it's thrifted, but it's still way too much and it's a problem and I need to get myself down to like a reasonable amount and then I need to maintain that. Sometimes I also feel like I'm justifying my spending because it's like a small business and I'm like, oh my God, it's so cute. Let's support a small business. But then like, where do you put it? You know, we need to be reasonable. And it's not just thrift stores I donate to, I donate to a lot of women's shelters as well. So yeah, don't worry, I'm not just gonna be like throwing these in the garbage. Unless it's like old underwear, then I will be throwing them in the garbage because nobody wants that. And if you want that, you gotta go. One of the big things with getting your clothes down is the idea of does it spark joy and have you worn it in the last year? The other thing is I wear cuter clothes in the videos I film than I do in real life. So I kind of need a section of like clothes that I film in versus clothes I genuinely wear. Because like for instance, every time I wear this shirt, you guys get so excited, I love it. And it's such a beautiful Larika Matoshi shirt, but I don't wear it in real life if I'm being honest, but there's a purpose for it because I wear it in videos. So this sort of thing would have to stay. And like the shirt I made to go the Trevi Fountain on my honeymoon, or this shirt I made while sewing for 24 hours. Like the things I make need to stay. Like accumulatively, this is like 24 hours of my life. They need to stay. I'm in a really dangerous spot because I'm starting to buy like very antique collectible things like this. That's a collectible. This is a very specific antique dress or maybe it's vintage. People always tell me what's the difference between antique and vintage and I just can't keep it sorted, sorry. Um, but yeah, it's gorgeous, it's a dress with this stunning jacket, but this isn't like an everyday wearer. So like, where do I put it? This is also vintage. Look at that shimmer. We need another section for antiques. Maybe I should have started in this section. This section's too hard. I'm gonna go with the other one. I just remembered that it's actually illegal to go through and declutter anything without wearing a leopard print shirt. If you know, you know. I wear a leopard print shirt every time I declutter anything. It's usually not this one though, and it's actually pretty telling. I can't find the actual one. Hopefully at some point in this decluttering we'll find it. But we're gonna start over in the shirts. Okay, I'm gonna be realistic. I'm gonna be so realistic, you're gonna be like, that's the most realistic person I've ever seen in my life. This is a keep. I'm keeping this because it's actually Tate's, so I have no right to get rid of it. What is this? That's a keep. I wear that. I mean, can you get rid of an I Love New York? No. Remember when I said I was gonna be really ruthless and like really get rid of things? I'm gonna get rid of this white hoodie. White hoodies and me don't really get along. Ugh, this is a memory. 
but I'm gonna get rid of it. Keep, I actually was wondering where that was. Keep. <sighs> need this it's too sheer for starters and I don't like the low neckline for me personally my issue with this color is it just doesn't really go with my skin tone I think it's just the greens too light I think I'm just very picky about colors love this from thread up love this from thread up this isn't sponsored by thread up but it should be how many black turtlenecks does one person need I can answer your question Four. I actually wear a lot of black turtlenecks, so it's okay. And like, what would I wear this with? Like, I don't know. I mean, why am I not wearing that? That's cute. Again, it's just not my color, but like, I kept it because these embroidered leaves are adorable. I'll get rid of it. Um, key. the merch that Jenna gave me. Boom. See, I bought sweater vests because I was like, sweater vests are cute, but I don't really know how to wear a sweater vest, if I'm being honest. Like, I literally don't know how to style this. It's beyond me. Hey, y'all. <laughs> starting to get a little bit tired. I'm starting to like, like get my like lines crossed on like what I'm doing here. Cause I need to remember, I need to keep cute things for filming in. And I will never part with this in my entire life. And that's a fact. There's certain items I have to get rid of like this, which I love and could happily hold on to, but I wore it on New Year's and turns out I'm a little bit allergic to it, so gonna get rid of that. No matter how many people tell me to throw this shirt in a fire, I'm not doing it. I like it. <coughs> See, those are the ones I'm allergic to. Next we have the dresses. Now one thing you gotta know about me is I love to get a good dress. This is cute actually, I'm gonna keep that. Mm, don't really see myself wearing it to be honest. This is so cute. I thrifted this. You can pretty much assume just like 80% of everything is thrifted. My wedding dress. Can't get rid of that. I've been meaning to get rid of you. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have no dresses by the time I'm done with this. It's really making me realize I like like the muted colors. I need to remember that. I feel like I got rid of a lot of dresses and this one I made. <laughs> Nary, I say I got rid of like half of my dresses. Like that's pretty good. Yeah, this is how many dresses I got rid of. Oh my gosh, I'm getting kind of worried. Look how nicely folded these are. Can you tell it's been winter and I haven't went into my tank top drawer for like six months? Yeah, this green, this is the green that I'm sick of. Keep, keep, I actually wear maxi skirts. That's one thing I can say confidently. Okay, this section has been cleared out. Here are the gives from that section. I would almost say I'm giving more cute items than I'm keeping, but that's the give. Okay, workout stuff. This one, I'm going to be absolutely insanely bruised because I am so tired of running into the leggings I don't like. It's quite frustrating, so. <laughs> good. Hello. It is another day. I've been living with this, <laughs> blocking the entryway to the bathroom, so I'm ready to tackle another piece of it. I went through my pants pretty ruthlessly the last time, so I tend to think most of these are going to make the cut. I'm sorry. It's just the likelihood of me wearing those is low. Say it with me. Jeans are not comfortable. They really aren't. White pants are a bad idea. These pants don't make sense with your lifestyle. I have a lot of statement pants. I kind of need to zero in on some neutrals, but oh well. The thing about this section is this is a lot of cute dresses that, you know, it's not an everyday thing. It's just simply not an everyday thing. You're out of here. Let's be honest, these selkie dresses are just a little bit too short to be wearable. I'm just being honest. I mean, this was the custom dress I made. Like, do you guys see why I'm keeping this stuff? This was my almost wedding dress. Like legitimately almost wedding dress, so I can get rid of that. Would there ever be any instance where I would wear this though? I've tried multiple times to keep that. I'm never gonna wear it. I have no idea why. I'm not keeping things that I'm not gonna wear. These are kind of all my filming shirts. They're kind of the ones that are nicer than normal. So I think a lot of these will be a keep, but I'm gonna look with a discerning eye. Hmm. I 
actually got rid of more of those ones than I thought. Oh my goodness, I just realized all my swimsuits are down here. It's a struggle. The last section is jeans. These honestly are way too small. They're also too short. Cute, cute, cute. Love these. Okay, the initial run through of everything has been done. Aside from the shoes, which I'll do really quickly. And now we gotta go through everything again. Not the donate, we gotta go through the key. I just went through the shoes. I found some cute ones like, you know I wanna keep these, but I can't keep everything. So there's the to give. Okay, so now I'm just going through what I initially was gonna keep and narrowing it down one more time, being a little bit more ruthless this time. Here's the give pile now. I can honestly say there's so many things I love in here, but I just don't wear them, so I have lost the ability to keep them. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the task of putting everything back and folding it. I'm gonna switch up some spots. Like it used to be my t-shirts here, but I only ever had like a few t-shirts because I'm more of a long sleeve gal. So I'm gonna maybe try putting my hoodies here just to make better use of that space, I guess. And yeah. Okay, it has been a few days, but I think that it is officially put away correctly. Now, I didn't get my goal of having an empty quadrant, but I believe that I can get there eventually. Today's just not the day. I honestly think I could have swished this one into that one, but I would prefer to use them all and have it be less squished together. Like there's an empty shelf here and a partially empty shelf here, but I like that because otherwise I feel like it gets too packed tight. So I'm just gonna use the space I have. My little quadrant desk will just have to wait. So over here we have jackets, matching sets, pajamas, and workout clothes. Before my pants and jeans were separate, now we have pants and jeans all in one. And these are my filming tops. These are all my cute clothes. I like to try and film main channel videos in cute outfits because I love when you guys get excited about what I'm wearing. So that's this section. And then the long dresses has been severely taken down and the swimsuits are now down there. And the last quadrant, we have my sweatpants, my sweaters, which this is my frequent area. I love the spot. Skirts and dresses got combined, which I feel like is great. And then here's all the shirts. Still a lot of clothes. I'm not hurting for clothes by any stretch of the term. That's for sure. I think I did do a ruthless clear out. I have a lot of clothes to figure out where they're going. Whenever I do a closet clear out video, I always notice a few comments that are like, oh, I really love that one thing you got rid of. I wish I could have bought it from you. So I'm really thinking about a way that I could sell some of these and then of course give the profits to charity so that you guys can have the pieces that you want. In the meantime, I'm gonna go through the stuff and anything that I feel like I should donate to the women's shelter, I will, and then I'll try to keep a few pieces that I feel like you guys might be interested in. But yes, the annual closet clear out is complete. I'm striving for a year where I don't have to do a closet clear out because I have not hoarded any pieces. That is the new goal. That being said though, I'm really excited about the pieces I'm getting rid of. I think these pieces will make a lot of people very happy. I mean, I'm not just saying this, I honestly feel like it's some really cute stuff that I would happily keep, but I'm not gonna limit myself. All right, well, I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one.